Predictive, welcome to Cypress Avenue. How are we all doing? All good? Very good. Everyone feeling good? Yeah. Now, there's yeah. seven of you in the band, so do you want to quickly give a name check to everyone? Yes, okay. So this is Diamond. She plays trumpet and sings and raps and all of that stuff. I'm Daniel. I play drums. This is Kira. She sings. Michael plays bass. Abdul plays keys. Keen Harris plays guitar. And Leanne sings as well. Nice. Nice little collection of everyone. Um, tell us about the band. Where did this kind of all start? How did seven of you end up in one room with instruments and then started creating music? We all met in college um, and basically through Kira it actually came together because Kira is very good at bringing groups of people together and she was kind of friends with a lot of us through like different avenues and then she got us all in the same room at one time and it actually worked which was quite shocking because usually you put seven you put seven musicians in a room generally <laughs> and it's like a disaster most of the time or if you're trying to like jam stuff out you know everyone says let's go have a jam and then yeah. like it just turns into an absolute mess but for some reason it clicked with the seven of us and um here we are now today yeah well done for all seven of you actually making music and creating as well because uh i used to be a former drummer now just a part-time bedroom drummer <laughs> and uh when me and the lads used to go jamming we used to end up just playing Seven Nations Army, and we're like, we've done nothing, and it's time to go home. So props to you. Um, will you tell us about your sound? We just heard the track "Question." Uh, the sound from the band is, uh, for me, unique, amazing. I love it. Anytime I hear your stuff or you're performing here today, I start bopping away. The sound is it something that just kind of happens, or is it something you kind of, you know, knuckle down and said, let's kind of go with this and see what happens? I think it's something that definitely just happened. Um, I feel like we all come from different backgrounds and all have a different level of influence from different kind of genres. And I think we're a bit of a melting pot. <laughs> 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 if you look at us, <laughs> uh, we're definitely a bit of a melting pot. So I think we've all just kind of brought something that we love um, sound wise to kind of make our own sound. Nice. Um, you've played a couple of gigs, or I say a couple, you've played loads of gigs around Cork already and uh, the Jazz Festival and everything as well. Uh, is it always nice and exciting to get on stage and try out new things after, I suppose, being in a room practicing and going through various sounds and bits and pieces? 100%. That's basically the reason that we do all of it. We spend hours and hours and hours fighting each other and debating <laughs> over what should go where and this should do that. But then, like, the moment on the stage is all of that goes away and if you have the privilege to play somewhere like the Everyman last year for Jazz Weekend yeah. you got to play there and like to go on a stage like that with music that you've made yourself and put blood sweat and tears into is a great feeling nice I'm amazed that all seven of you agree we don't so, we, I know we, there's we, probably times yeah. they're like I hate you all yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but still it's good going um, what would this mean to you I suppose as a band and as a, as a collective to, to possibly win uh, Irish Music Month and the €10,000 prize fund and to get your stuff played on independent radio stations across the country? Um, it would mean the world to us. I speak <laughs> for everyone. Um, first of all, just us being from Cork. Um, yeah. I think it's an honour that we've been considered for this opportunity. And um, we've worked, you know, with people in Cork as well as with people outside of Cork. And I feel like a lot of the time it tends for Cork originals to be dragged away yeah. you know to dublin let's go to the big city and um, but we kind of want to keep it local and you know stay true to our roots so it would mean the world for us to win the prize um and it would help a lot with recording and etc so yeah we'd be very grateful there's a lot of gear when it comes to seven people as yeah. well so yeah. <laughs> a bit of cash flow would would do everyone good um before we uh, hear about the next song that we're going to hear this morning here from Cypress Avenue. Um, tell us what's kind of next on the list for you guys. Is there more gigs booked in? Is it kind of back into the studio creating and writing again? The main thing for us at the moment is recording, trying to get music out. Um, we've been doing this a while and there's still no music out necessarily. So um, <laughs> <laughs> we're, looking to, we're looking to change that as soon as possible. But um, yeah, like you said, getting seven people to all agree on something yeah. is tricky. So it's a long process but hopefully once we get to the end of that it'll all be worth it and everyone will be happy and we can put out a product that we're genuinely really pleased with so. unreal well i look forward to 